Hello, my name is Sheila, and today we are going to compare Midjourney V6 with V5.2 using a sketch style prompt. Case 7, Midjourney sketch style. Level, basic comparison, V5.2 versus V6. Rule applied, colors matter. Don't forget to like and subscribe, your support means a lot to me. You can find my links in the description. If you have any topics you'd like me to cover in tutorials, let me know in the comments. And at the end of this video, I've got an extra tip for you, please don't miss it. Important tips. When creating a prompt, you can choose from monochromatic to full color, pastel, neutral, or give mid-journey creative freedom. But you can also establish consistency with color palettes. Mix and match two, four, or even six tones. In this case, we'll compare the results of V6 versus V5.2 using the same prompt with a specific color palette. Let's start with a simple sketch. While a sketch isn't considered a traditional art medium, for artificial intelligence, some concepts are more flexible. So you can view a sketch as a medium and even blend styles. We've chosen a four color palette combination, light brown and dark gray, dark white and light pink. Now, let's run the same prompt in the two versions and see the result. Let me know what you think in the comments. In my personal opinion, V6 is captivating. It's more precise, as I can say, hey, I want a sketch of a stick figure couple, and V6 delivers better results than V5.2. V6 is more powerful with sharper details, offers more realistic scenes. Plus, you might have noticed, V6 understands natural language better. There's no need to speak in short code-like phrases anymore. I dare to say V6 understands natural language like DALI, this prompt is available on my prompt based store and other marketplaces, but you can also create fantastic sketches in the version you prefer and experiment with color combinations. If you're unsure about mixing colors for aesthetic results, here are two simple tips. 1. Combine dark tones with light ones, for example, sky blue and beige, light brown and azure. Or 2. Ask Midjourney for help. Use the prompt slash imagine palette, the color scheme of winter and you'll see a grid of tones. You can upload this image to a color descriptor like Dopely Colors and find the natural names of the palette. I love experimenting with seasons and weather. If the name is unusual, ask to Google for popular synonyms. I hope my work complements yours. Let me know in the comments what topics you'd like to see. Remember to subscribe and hit that like button. If you like, please follow me too on my PromptBase account. Your support means a lot. Until the next video, see you soon!